Hello, my name is Rain and welcome to my channel where I discuss Fantasy Formula 1. It has been a while, but we're back with the regularly scheduled content. I was supposed to come out with this transfer plans video immediately after Singapore, but I got sick and then I just pushed it forward. But we're back. The Cota Grand Prix, the American Grand Prix, Cota Circuit of the Americas is next weekend. And I mean, it's Thursday today, so it's really only a week until we start getting some real news for this. So I thought now would be the time to actually go over what my personal transfer plans are. Now, the channel hasn't been completely quiet. I did upload a 3x, a triple DRS video, an entire video discussing it. I mean, 20 of the video was a weird rant about maybe you can go with a C2 constructor to afford Max Verstappen and Landon Norris. And I don't think that's going to be my plan, but I'm going to show you that a bit later on. Uh, if that ends up being uh, an option, right? But I, I, again, that was very, very experimental. I just wanted to talk about it because I thought it was quite cool. I know everyone has forgotten about the Singapore Grand Prix, and I don't have that much to say about it. It was a rather simple one. Lando just won. Max did surprisingly well. McLaren was good. Ferrari was good. Mercedes was less good. I had a tiny blue arrow, but I con I'm continuing my good streak, right? That's three or four races in a row now. Uh, up to an overall, a very satisfying overall score of exactly 13,000, up 199 places from the previous week. I think the main downfall for me was that I had Alex Albon, which obviously DNF'd, but I mean, Albon looked like a great option. So it's just unfortunate that those who went with the cheaper lineup got rewarded for it, right? Those who went with Colapinto Bottas show ended up winning out over those who had the extra budget to go for Alex Albon. So I think that's unlucky for Alex Albon owners, myself included. Uh, and also unlucky is that I sold Shogun Yu to Valtteri Bottas to save up some money. And Shogun Yu ended up having a better race than Valtteri Bottas. You know, Valtteri Bottas still got three points, so I'm not overly sad about it. But it's, it's just one of those things. But now Valtteri Bottas is, is clearly cheaper than Shogun Yu. So uh, I cannot reverse that decision and I'm not planning to anytime soon. So 219 points total for Singapore. Let's talk about what I'm going to do in Kota. So if you've missed it, Liam Lawson has been added not only to F1 Fantasy, but, you know, the actual F1 grid. He comes into F1 Fantasy at 10.2 million, which is the same price as Tsunoda, cheaper than Daniel Ricciardo by quite some margin, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and the reason why we're discussing Liam Lawson first is because he has a confirmed engine penalty in Austin. Now, this engine penalty will be served in the main race, so not in the sprint race at Kota, and uh, it will be served, it is a 10-place grid penalty. At first, it looked like it was going to be a five-place uh, five place grid penalty, which is what I reported on in my short that I posted when he dropped, but it is confirmed now that it's going to be a 10-place uh, grid penalty. Season's engine allocation is 10 places for the first instance. So this is obviously good for F1 fantasy managers. This is definitely something we should try and jump on if possible. And it's definitely something that I want to keep in mind. Because if nothing crazy happens in the sprint qualifying, then this is where I'm going to be looking to, to make my transfers, right? Uh, not only, I mean, seaters are already good in sprint races if they start further back. So, say Liam Lawson qualifies, uh, you know, P16 maybe in, in the sprint qualifying. First instance back, maybe he's a bit rusty. Has, has the car to maybe climb, gain some overtakes, a couple of points in the sprint. And then on top of that, he's going to start likely quite far back in the feature race. I feel like it, it, it's, it's, he's probably going to be the best seat here. Uh, there's no other penalties confirmed as of now. So, unless we see some, you know... Kevin Magnussen from, from P20 in the sprint. I, I don't see how we can find a better uh, asset than, than Liam Lawson in terms of points potential in a C-tier asset. So uh, Liam Lawson is in the game at the bottom here. He's at 10.2 million. Now, the problem with him being 10.2 million is that I'm at 9.8 million because Albon DNF'd, right? And if Albon had increased in price and not had a DNF, I would have been able to afford Albon to Liam Lawson. That's really, really unfortunate for me because this means I do have to make another transfer. And I cannot downgrade Franco Colapinto or Valtteri Bottas. They are the two cheapest assets in the game. So this would mean I would have to downgrade one of my other four assets. The problem with that is that I am also eyeing up the 3x. Everyone's eyeing up the 3x for Kota. Kota is a great place to use the 3x. 
there's overtakes potential, yada, yada, yada. And if McLaren look fast, which they did, which I'm, I mean, I'm expecting McLaren to be the fastest team now. McLaren triple up could continue being strong. And in that case, I don't want to get rid of them. Another thing is that Ferrari and Red Bull are bringing upgrades. We still need to see what those upgrades are if they get them done in time for Kota. And in that sense, I really don't want to, you know, downgrade Ferrari either. But the, I mean, the two options I see, because I'm not getting rid of Lando Norris, right? Last time I sold Lando Norris, he got the highest score he's gotten all year. And considering that Lando Norris is the one challenge to Max Verstappen, I do think Papaya rules are out the window. So I think McLaren will begin to uh, hand over some favor in Land uh, into Lando Norris's lap to try and get that driver's championship. I don't think it's impossible, by the way. He could definitely get it. So in that sense, I definitely don't want to get rid of Lando Norris. I definitely don't want to get rid of McLaren because McLaren look like the best team right now. So why would I get rid of the best asset of the game? And then it's really Oscar Piastri or Ferrari if I want to get Liam Lawson in. With Ferrari, the only real downgrade is down to Mercedes, right? So if Mercedes looks strong and Ferrari doesn't, then this could definitely be the, the, the two moves I end up making. So Alex Albon uh, to Liam Lawson and Ferrari down to Mercedes. That's definitely an option. The other option is to get rid of Oscar Piastri. If, if Ferrari's upgrades look strong and they look to be the clearly third fastest team ahead of Mercedes, maybe even challenging Red Bull if Red Bull's upgrades don't look that good and it's looking like it's McLaren and Ferrari that we want to own, then it could be an Oscar Piastri uh, down to a Carlos Sainz. Again, because I can't downgrade Charles Leclerc, they're the same price. So then it would be a Carlos Sainz here, but I don't know how much I actually like this. This this seems like a nothing option. Uh, in this case, I could afford to do it with Valtteri Bottas instead, so I would probably keep Alex Albon then and, and do Bottas up to Liam Lawson. So this is kind of the option, but the problem by doing this, if I, if I get Carlos Sainz in over Oscar Piastri, do I really want a 3x with Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz? Probably not. But for me, who's someone who's used no negative and only really has the 3x uh, as well as Final Fix to care about now. Also the the autopilot. But with that, maybe I can push the 3x forward, right? The reason for that is like Liam Lawson looks like such a good option for this race in particular. That if I get Liam Lawson in this race with either a Mercedes asset or with Carlos Sainz in here. Don't use the 3x. And then I still have three transfers because I only use two transfers with, with those two moves. I can then plan to use the 3x in Brazil by then going by then going back to uh, Oscar Piastri, right? Uh, so if, if, say, McLaren still look to be the strongest and I do want to use the 3x on La the 3x, 2x with Landon Norris and Oscar Piastri, which is probably the most likely combo for me personally, then that is something I could do. I could, I could sort of push the 3x forward a bit and and um just focus on liam lawson in kota and i think that's valid i don't think that's that awful now if if we get to the sprint race or the sprint qualifying rather in kota and Lando norris is like eighth or further back even and piastri is also starting far back from a, a mistake or any of those two comments like either Lando or piastri starting far back then obviously i i kind of just have to either go for the mercedes route uh, or ignore Liam Lawson. And I do think if the 3x looks strong with McLaren being the fastest and one of them messing up in qualifying, then obviously using a good 3x outvalues getting Liam Lawson in for one race where he has a 10 place grid penalty. But I do think that Liam Lawson is good enough on paper now that we do need to plan for the instance where we want to get Liam Lawson and maybe push forward and delay the 3x, if that makes sense. The other option is then Max Verstappen. If Max Verstappen looks to be the fastest driver or the second fastest behind Landon Norris and, and maybe Piastri, right? If if the Red Bull upgrades that Red Bull are rumored to bring to Kota look strong and I want to get Max Verstappen, the team that I discussed in my 3x video still kind of applies. But that's only if Max Verstappen looks to be the strongest option and maybe there's a mess up from from him uh, in qual in sprint qualifying so the way you would do that is to downgrade actually uh ferrari to either haas rb or uh williams but maybe an rb considering um liam lawson you know his points will still uh, be be translated into the rb assets so it could be an rb here 
so that you could afford Max Verstappen here. And in this case, I could also just do Liam Lawson in here. Now, I know this looks crazy. And if you want to, you know, pick my brain about why this is a bad idea, you can. It's obviously not a good idea. But I made an entire video discussing how this could be an option. In that instance, I used uh, Yuki Tsunoda, actually, instead of Liam Lawson here as uh, or Kevin Magnuson here. But that would allow me to get Liam Lawson in. And this would be for the specific instance of I want to use the 3x and Max Verstappen looks really, really, really strong. If Max Verstappen is that strong, this could be worth it for one race, obviously. Um, especially if Liam Lawson also then has, you know, a lot of points to gain in both the sprint and the uh, um, and the qualifying. This could be something I end up doing. I don't think it's likely, but... It's only going to be used in the instance where Max Verstappen looks to win or at least be second fastest. And maybe he performs poorly in the sprint qualifying. Then this could be. And also if Liam Lawson performs poorly in the sprint qualifying. All this to say, this is not like, this is a 5% or less chance of happening. But it is an option which would allow me to get both Liam Lawson uh, and Max Verstappen in there. Uh, but... With all these options, with this, do I sell Ferrari to Mercedes? Do I prioritize getting the Lawson in, or do I just ignore it and go for the three X on Lando plus Oscar with basically the team I have? Right in that case, would I even make a transfer? I could end up rolling this team completely if I want to use the three X on Lando Piastri, uh, because like, what can I actually do here with with um, uh, with Albon? It's it's upgrading to Pierre Gasly, but is that even really an upgrade i i don't think so i think i'd rather stick with alex album so with all of that said the main tip that i want you to take away from this video is to not make any transfers yet and to watch the sprint qualifying with me so on friday friday evening for the sprint qualifying i'm going to be live doing a watch along and then after that we're going to discuss everything we've seen there and actually discuss what is the best 3x option? Should you use the 3 or 3x or should you postpone it for uh, Brazil? Is Max Verstappen an option? Should we buy uh, RB? Should we even prioritize getting Liam Lawson in? All of these questions that I'm speculating about now will be answered after the sprint qualifying before the sprint race. So definitely, definitely be there for the sprint qualifying watch along next Friday evening. Uh, evening my time, that that is, uh, European time. Because like in reality the amount of information that you get from a sprint qualifying session is so massive that almost everything i'm saying now is sort of devalued a bit i do think it's still valuable to sort of look at the options you have but again i'm not even close to making a final decision on, on either of them the an, another thing is also if one of the formula a drivers say lewis hamilton qualifies in like p17 p18 in the sprint then i mean this is obviously just a one move piastri to to hamilton and i don't even think it's a, a, a question of, of if you should do it i think i think the question is just yes and should you use your 3x or should you put your 2x on hamilton in that case so there there are many things that i could end up doing i feel like my team is pretty good and a pretty flexible spot i just wish that alex albon had not dnf'd last time around so that i could get uh liam lawson in 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 one move without selling piastri but that's unfortunately uh not an option for me if it is an option for you i think you just do it like if you're 0.4 million uh, richer than i am i think the main thing you do is just sell alex albon to liam lawson i think liam lawson is the best option if you're poorer than me maybe you already don't have oscar piastri in here maybe you've been been uh sitting on a team such as lander plus george russell and in this case you already have the money needed to go to liam lawson so in many cases like the the position where i'm at is a bit of a, a medium one because i feel like every move i make to afford liam lawson is a downgrade but if you're either poorer than me so you already had to sacrifice something like a piastri on the second slot or you're richer than me you can just straight up afford liam lawson i feel like you're in a in a, in a prime position to to just go for a team such as this um or right a, a, a team such as this plus liam lawson so i think right now those are looking like the best teams for kota but again we have to wait and see on ferrari upgrades red bull upgrades and and also mainly the sprint qualifying that's about it it's not that much to discuss i know 
But if you want to just chat with me or watch me do some non F1 related things, I'm doing something different. Uh, I'm going to go live on the channel tomorrow. If you remember, if you were there for either of the either of the streams I did for Singapore, we talked about uh, the the funny gaming sponsor that Haas had that I laughed about. And uh, well, now the reviews for that game is out. It's a game called Metaphor Refantasia. The reviews for that game is out and it's looking like a game of the year candidate. So I'm really, really curious about it. Uh, I've been a fan of Atlas for a long time. So I'm actually going to be live streaming and just playing through the game, uh, playing through the story. So if you want to just hang out with me, chat some uh, F1, F1 fantasy and, and watch me play a, a fantasy game uh, that's not fantasy sports. Uh, I guess uh, you can do that by seeing me live. I will be live like all day tomorrow. I have Friday off, so uh drop in for that if you want if not i will be back next week with another video uh my team selection video as well as two live streams one for the deadline stream on saturday as well as the uh sprint watch along on friday uh perhaps a, a surprise video as well so uh don't forget to subscribe like the video if you stayed this long and i'll see you next time goodbye